can often be regarded as one of the most unforgiving sport that any player can choose to take up as a sport, whether it be an outdoor sport or an indoor sport. Because so many times when the pool gods, as pool players call it, are for you, they are definitely for you. And when they are against you, they are definitely against you. Now, have you ever found yourself in a position where you break the perfect rock, you have the perfect opening shot, you're you go down you play a particular shot you may make it get bad position or you play the shot and you miss it but then when your opponent approaches the table they tend to always get what we refer to as the roll they get a lucky roll they play a bad shot it lands perfectly into position or they miss a shot it goes a couple of reels around the table and lands into a pocket now there are different types of sports that we play but particularly rotational pool we don't necessarily call our shot so a lot of the times when you play a shot and it bounces a couple of reasons and go into a pocket it is still your turn at the table you're now going to be witnessing one of those rocks that came from my recently concluded practice session where we act where i actually played pretty good for the most part but then the rules started to come into my favor and it was absolutely mind-blowing so without further ado let me just jump right into this rock and let's see how this rock played itself out now i'm starting off with the break here and i got what i would refer to as a perfect break shot cue ball parked into the center of the table wing ball went into the corner pocket Got a couple kicks from the object ball spreading out from the rock area kicking the cue ball down towards almost to the left center part of the right center part of the table giving me somewhat of an opening shot here on the one now in the previous upload you would have seen where i got a similar shot like this which on the four ball and i made the shot now as I said, as I'm reviewing these videos, one of the things that I appreciate most about my way of learning is that I often remember the mistakes that I made in the past. And so what I noticed about this shot, a couple of, this shot is not really a traditional shot that you go on the table and practice. It's kind of like a feel shot like. Now what I notice is that many times when I miss this shot and when I see opponents or players miss this shot, they tend to apply excessive side spin or they play the shot a bit too hard or like what I just did here, I play the shot a bit too soft. Now if the table is not rolling well, you're gonna get a little bit of a bad roll like what I just did there because I cut the shot pretty good and for some reason I think maybe something was on the table it pushed it towards the side rail and that that is kind of a ridiculous shot because to cut that shot at that angle and still get an overcut it's just mind-blowing nevertheless here I'm gonna have to get into zone here because my opponent has allowed me to come back to the table and now I'm going to be trying to run out the rack. Now the balls are evenly spread, not much problem. And there you just experienced or you just seen where my intent was obviously to play the one ball a bit thick and to play position for the two into the side. I eventually played the one ball a bit too thin. It skipped past the seven, bumped the five and landed somewhat perfect here on the two now i know i didn't have an opening shot on the two into the top left but now i'm looking here to try to squeeze this two ball past the seven into the top right pocket now this is a tough shot and you would have seen in rack number one where i shared an important secret to making shots like these when you have a half a pocket or you have a blind cut shot like what i'm about to exp what i'm about to execute here well at least what i'm about to try to execute here is where sometimes you have to kind of smoothly accelerate the cue once you find your aiming line or your pocket line you don't want to apply any unwanted size spin. if you notice that i'm taking an extra bit of time walking around the table trying to find any other option other than having to pocket this two ball because it's really really tough and just getting back on the four ball is going to be tricky now you'll notice here where i missed the shot so bad that it actually went a couple of reels and caram off the nine and went 
into the pocket and that can make your opponent really 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 mad really really angry some opponents will shake your head this is not something that i like to see you can see that i have a smile on my face there it's not something that i like to see it's not something that i like happening to me i know that a lot of you guys would disagree with me saying that okay if that happens to you in a real game you'd be smiling yes i would be but i like to know that when i play the game my intent matches my result now again here i don't really have much now notice here where i'm lining up i think i'm not sure if i'm lining up a kick there's not much safety option here but i'm not i think what i was trying to do was that i was trying to bank the four ball down towards the short reel here notice i left the cue ball close to the short reel and it kind of banked and just hit the six into the pocket so again as you can see just scratching the head because that was definitely not my intent so it's just one of those rocks guys where you're gonna find that the pool gods tend to be in your favor now mind you when these things are actually happening it's very easy for you to get distracted because i've had this happen to me a hundred plus times and when it gets down to the meat of the matter the meat of the rock i miss that all important shot so you've got to stay focused even when you're getting the rolls like that because like i said once you're getting this and it's not it's working out for you the moment you miss an important an all important shot the pool gods can turn your back on you and everything just goes downhill now fortunately for me there banking the four into the six getting perfect position back onto the four putting the four getting position to the five here it should be out here once i uh execute this shot here now again that's also another shot that tends to give me a bit of problem at times and what that that particular shot when i'm playing with inside spin i always tend to misread the angle because my intent was that it was going to come off the second diamond and come back out to the middle of the table it went a little bit long so that's also something that i need to take note of here now this is a very tricky shot and like i said i played a shot like this earlier and like i said when you're playing these shots i played a shot like this earlier in the rock and when you're actually playing this shot you have to cut it with a nice speed you cannot you have to de de deliver the cue pardon me smoothly now here you see where i kind of shift the camera a little bit because the cue ball's position changed just to make the shot i want to show you exactly how it's actually done now went around a couple of reels cue ball is wild getting all bouncing around landed not even perfect here just landed me on a bank here's actually what happened on that shot now it was very important for me to show you that that's what actually occurred but i wanted to know what the actual result or the position was going to be like had i made the shot and so like i said guys a lot of the times you're not going to get a perfect rack but it's very important that you sometimes go back to the practice table and practice that particular shot or you can just redo it in the rack because obviously if i missed the shot i sold out so nothing is wrong with me completing the rack by trying to run out here now beautiful bank shot here on the eight landed perfectly there on the nine going around a couple of rails landed perfectly now it wasn't the best rack it was a poor execution in some aspects of the game but it was very important that we took notes from this particular rack here going into the future to become a stronger and better player so until then take care and i'll see you in another upload continue to support the channel hit the subscribe button and we'll continue to grow with consistency